This is a quick review of the Siemens IQ700 Integrated Dishwasher model SN678D00TG. Now this is a full size integrated dishwasher which um, I believe has um, enough space for 14 settings in various combinations. Um, it's rather cloudy at the moment and the lights are off, you'll see why when I open the dishwasher up to have a look at it, so uh, let's have a look. Now you can open it with a handle, but there's also a press feature which will open it for you. So you can see why there's um, a rather snazzy blue, or two blue lights which illuminate the inside of the dishwasher, um, so you can see what's going on inside it. Uh, so let's have a quick look at what we have within the dishwasher. We actually have three um, storage trays. Obviously for the larger plates you have the, the deeper um, tray here, basket, and you have various additional features. For example, you can fold that down. And if you want to put pans in rather than plates, you have various settings where you can lower the spikes on both sides. And, it, and that's all the way through that. Then you have your upper basket which is for smaller items. This is loaded at the moment. And again you have spikes and various things you can fold up and down to hold more delicate items in. And these obviously fold down as well here. And then the extra basket at the top where you stack your cutlery and your espresso cups. Again this can drop down to hold bigger items of maybe uh, ladles, spoons, big spoons which you want to put in and clean at the top. Back to the middle basket and that is also adjustable. I don't do it at the moment because it's quite heavy. We clip so you push it at the side and it goes up and down three levels. Okay, so I'll just start it so I'm doing a wash at the moment. Although I, that's the seal lift sign there. If you go down at the back here, right at the back there, you'll see in the corner that is where the zeolith um, mineral is actually maintained, and that is what produces the extra heat. So, putting a tablet in because I do, I do use tablets, very really simple. Just drop it in there, push forward, and it locks. And we'll go up to the actual settings. Now this is a bit snazzy as well. To turn on, just press the button there. And you get a nice welcome panel there. Now that will tell you on the present setting what time your wash cycle will finish. Now there's a flashing lights here. You can see that one is for eco. So have an auto 35 to 45 degrees, auto 45 to 65, auto 65 to 75. There's a night setting which is a bit quieter. Obviously there isn't as much pressure on the water. Um, I think that's a glass setting. Uh, that is a rapid wash, which is about 29 minutes. That's a pre-rinse. And then there's an information button. I'll come to that. It also allows you to set um, um, make various settings to like the um, salt that's required or the rinse aid that's required, language of the display, etc. Um, on this side, you have a timer, so you can basically time the um, uh, uh, when the dishwasher comes on. Now, the next one after that, um, that actually means you can have a variable wash strength. So what that basically means is the, um, the the middle basket or the 
higher than two bigger baskets has a more gentle wash cycle whereas the lower one with, with more baked on food on pans and plates will have uh, a, a more intense wash cycle. Very low speed you can cut down the amount of the time um, of your wash but it will involve having more water and electricity in terms of heating. It's a half load option, a hygienic mode, higher temperatures to kill off possible bacteria in babies bottles and chopping boards and a glass feature which is an extra dry feature for dipping to shine your glass and then there's a start button. Now you might think well I don't know what any of these might mean just looking at them and what are they meant to clean now if you press the information button then if you press each of these buttons it will give you a description so let's for example go over to the Auto 35 to 45, it tells you it's for sensor controlled for lightly soiled dishes and glasses. Next one up, and that's for normally soiled items on a sensor control. That's basically their sensors inside that will tell you how dirty this, this, the plates and utensils are and pots are, and will adjust the water and the cleaning cycle for that. And obviously, the higher ones like to be a more intense one, which will say. For heavily soiled dishes, pots and pans. Now, eco is more energy efficient but it's a lot longer. Uh, most economical program for normally soiled dishes. Night. Reduced noise for normally soiled items. Oh, which is almost in focus, there you go. Now I said, I said this was for glasses at 40 degrees. Now what's that say there? Gentle, recommended especially for glasses. There you go. And the rapid wash, reduced time for lightly soiled dishes and glasses. So about 29 minutes, if it's a half load it'll be less than that. So let's say pretty quick. Again, cold rinse suitable for all types of loads, so that's like a pre-rinse. If it's particularly baked and it will help loosen that. If we're going across the other side, let's go for the timer. Button to activate start time pre selection up by up to 24 hours. Why you want to wait, I don't know. Now, greater spray pressure in lower basket for heavy soiled items. The Vero Speed Plus. Program runs time reduced by up to 66%. Go for that. For part load saves water, energy and time. Extended, in, extended increased temperature cycle for even more hygienic cleaning. And finally, improved drying, extra shine for glasses and plasticware. Um, so I was pretty accurate on what I thought it was, but for people who are new to it or don't use it that much, it does tell you. What you then have to remember is you want to start your cycle or your, your uh, washing cycle you have to press the information button that makes it default apparently to eco and then you can select which program you want so let's have a look at this at the moment make sure that's, that that is back in which it is um, I'll turn it on because there's one more feature that I'd like you to see so let's just do I've just drawn the curtain for this because the feature I now want to show you is uh, basically on the floor so it's going to hopefully reduce the glare but um, let's start the program so we're going to go for as it's not that full a rapid wash so that's around about half an hour and then I'm just going to press the start button that advised me to close the door. Look at that there. there you go. Please close the door. And as you shut it, you'll see on the floor, you get a, a light being beamed onto the floor. Now, what that light shows you, and it's not particularly clear, I know, I'm trying to get a different angle, a much better angle there, is the type of program that's being run the amount of time that's remaining on the wash now you get that in in minutes hours minutes and also there's bars that get bigger at the bottom where each stage is completed 
and obviously what type of processes have been undertaken in the wash cycle. So at the moment, at the top left, it's saying it's um, filling up with water. So that is my review of the Siemens dishwasher, integrated dishwasher. I hope you've enjoyed. This is my first video review. If you do like, please um, pause any comments. Thank you.